Hi guys and welcome to the video. Now for this video I wanted to take a closer look at the MB Games classic Ghost Castle. <laughs> So, as I said, this is Ghost Castle, a classic 1980s MB board game. Now, I picked this one up back in the summer at a car boot sale. Can't remember exactly what I paid. It wouldn't have been more than a couple of pounds. And yeah, I thought it would make a cool video. I'm going to set this up in a minute. Um, I might time lapse that bit, actually, because it could take a while. And we'll take a look um, at the detail of the game and what it involves. And then at the end, stick around because I'm going to take a look on eBay and find out what these go for currently. We'll take a look on Amazon as well and uh, see what you'd be likely to get if you sold it online. are done and fantastically it is complete it's got all of its parts and all of the main board and these center sections are there there was one issue I've had to use a bit of tape uh, if I move it into the light uh, I had to use a bit of sellotape there because there's a little clip that's broken off so that wasn't holding on that staircase up the side as a separate part but apart from that it's in really good nick Good old MB games, it has the instructions printed on the inside of the lid, uh, which is really handy because they, they don't get lost. And I really like that. The instructions are really clear. It was really actually quite simple to put together. It's basically the board, uh, three pieces of card, and these two main plastic pieces in the middle and staircase. And that's about it really. Uh, they're all, the bits of card are clipped together on the corners here. And yeah, so the construction's pretty easy. The game, I've never played this. I didn't have it back in the 80s. So I've had a quick read of the instructions. Um, and how it works is this. You've got up to four players. Uh, these little card characters stand in these little bases. You start here. And then each turn is controlled by spinning this thing. You've got this little scared face here, which means you are scared stiff. Um, on your next turn, you do not throw the dice. You remain rooted to the spot until you spin a footprint. Which are those? And you have these little scared stiff faces. So when you're scared stiff, you're gonna look like that. And you can't carry on until you spin a foot. Um, if you are wearing a scared stiff mask, take it off. You're now free to throw the dice on your next turn. If you roll the skull, it says drop the skull into the coffin. So at the top of the building part here, you've got this coffin. That's the lid there. So when you roll one of these skulls, you take this little cool little skull ball and you drop it in. Now on the board, you have red footprints. So if you're stood here, you're in danger. If you're stood here on this wobbly bit of floor, you're in danger. And here, because of this, hold on, this part. And here, I'll show you. Basically the ball can go, I think it's four different ways. And it's a random lottery when you put the ball in, or the, the skull, which way it comes out. If it comes out here, it knocks this down, this ax, and takes you out if you're there. If it falls out of this way, it hits here, and it's going to knock you over if you're stood on here. Uh, this way, if I come around the back, there's another exit here, and it goes into this basket and lifts up this panel here. So if you're stood here on these red ones, you're in trouble. Likewise, uh, this staircase, if it rolls down here, oh no, sorry, this way, out of here. Uh, it's going to get you and it potentially can get you if you're stood here as well. And the aim of the game is to get all the way around. You follow this path all the way around, all the way through, dodging the areas where you can get knocked over, all the way through, 
and up the staircase. And it's the first person to get all the way up to the coffin and shut the lid. So that's the aim of the game. Um, the other symbol we didn't uh, read on here was the dice. So if you roll the dice, you get to throw again and move forward. And that's pretty much it. So it's a game of first to get to the end and shut the coffin lid. That's pretty cool. Like I say, I never played this before. I didn't have it as a kid. I knew of it in the 80s, but it was just not one we ever had as a family. But yeah, it's a really neat thing. So what we'll do in a sec is uh, go over and take a look on eBay and see what these sell for now. And we'll take a look on Amazon as well. Okay, so now over at the Mac, I've just done a search for completed and sold MB Ghost Castle games. And uh, yeah, it has some pretty decent value. Uh, they seem to sell really, really well. So I'll switch the view and show you what you could potentially get for these on eBay. Okay, so this is the first page as it comes up. We've got one there, Ghost Castle pre-owned, 44.99 with free postage. Uh, it just says very good condition. Um, here's someone selling uh, spares. Um, so yeah, all the parts and pieces from 199 to 395. Another one there, 36 pounds. Oops, it's jumped, there we go. Um, yep, that's complete at 36 with 399, so 40 pounds all in. 40 pounds there, free postage, 100% uh, complete. So yeah, you can see, I don't know if there's any that have sold lower. 35 they took an offer. That one was complete. Um, incomplete so that was yeah being sold as spares etc another one there 46 so there you go so around the 40 pound mark people are achieving on these 45 with postage on top so they did well on that one um, and there's a load of spares like 1894 And another one 40. So yeah, you can safely say if you've got a complete one, you could shoot for 40 quite easily. Some people have got just beyond that. And yeah, even if you pick up one and it's incomplete, you can see that people are easily selling spares on here. Okay, so let's take a look on Amazon as well. Okay, so now we're in Amazon UK. And this is the listing for Ghost Castle on there. As you can see, five used currently available, the cheapest being 69.49. So if we just click on there, take a look. So yeah, 69.49 used, very good, 100% complete. 69.95. So yeah, higher prices. I don't know if this is just because, I mean, right now it's December, it's middle of Christmas. So the cheaper ones may have been snapped up. I did just um, search it on Camel, which gives you history on Amazon. Now this is sales rank history, so you can see um, if we do it for the last year, it's only sold three times in the last year. So it's not a big seller on Amazon. I don't know if that's because they're priced that much higher on there or people haven't had them in stock at a reasonable price or whatever it is. Uh, but if you click back to all time, you can see that going back just over a year, it was selling much more. Um, and it had, yeah, had a bit of a peak here for Christmas. So yeah, historically it sold quite well on Amazon. Maybe the price was cheaper back then. Let's have a look. We go into price history, third party used. Yeah, back here when it was selling a lot, uh, it was down at the 40 pound, 40 to 50 pound mark. Whereas now, well, when, when we just looked, it was up here at 69.49. So it looks like it's more of a price thing. But there you go. Definitely a game that's worth picking up if you see it. So right, that will do it for this video. Hope you enjoyed that. And if you do see Ghost Castle while you're out and about, 
just grab it if it's at the right price. As you can see from those eBay prices, it sells regularly on there for good money. So it's a good one to pick up. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.